So, getting to Dennis's question, um, when is someone with dementia eligible for our services at Regent Court Memory Care? So, I do go, as Dennis pointed out, to either people's homes or other communities, the hospital. Um, it, I'll go a lot of times and um, just find out if that person's appropriate. And so, the very first thing they need is a diagnosis of dementia. That's a must have. They cannot move into our facility without it. They need to be stable and predictable. And that's open to interpretation. But um, obviously, if a doctor is really changing a lot of meds, like say for blood pressure med, because the person's blood pressure is really high and they keep changing the meds, that's not what I would consider stable and predictable. You know, if it's been a few days and they haven't made any changes, then we're good, but it's stable and predictable. Um, another thing that unfortunately happens sometimes is, um, does not pose a risk of harm to themselves or to others. Um, that sometimes this happens, um, it, you know, where um, I, I've seen people s with self-harm, they'll start hurting themselves or biting themselves. We've had that happen before. Um, we've had other residents who, um, whether it was provoked or not, um, get physical with another resident or staff member. And so um, certainly um, we want to look at that in the situation surrounding that, you know, because a lot of times um, with dementia we would expect some um, combative with care or some, um, some sort of behavioral disturbance as it were.